testing of the house is now mandatory for the energy code. We do two, two types of tests. One is a, for lack of a better term, a duct blaster test, where we test the tightness of the air ducts running through your house. Another test we do is the blower door test, and that's what we're gonna focus on today. The blower door test figures out how tight your house is. Now, some of you out there are gonna say that a house should breathe naturally. Uh, in the old days, that's what we used to think. But nowadays, we control the air coming into a house as we pump air out of the house. How does that work? Well, the blower door here is toward the end of the construction. This house is basically finished. We hire a third party, uh, independent third party guy, and they come out, put this contraption on an exterior door. This just happens to be the back door of this house. And what we're gonna do is there's a little computer down here and it's gonna tell us how much air this fan sucks out of the house. It's measured in cubic feet per minute, CFM. And we're gonna count that up, and for this volume of space, there's a certain prescribed uh, allowable amount of air that can get sucked through that thing. Now these are under test conditions, and rarely would this happen in real life, but at the end, we're gonna count air changes per hour, as, because that's what's in the code. But, uh, so imagine a house, you know, houses are just boxes, rooms, but uh, imagine a house that's 10 feet wide, 100 feet long, that would be, a thousand square foot house, right? Okay, so we're there. Now imagine that is 10 feet tall to the ceiling. I've now got 10,000 cubic feet of air in that little shoebox house. So if I were to turn this fan on and suck out 1,000 cubic feet per minute, times 60 minutes, that's 60,000 cubic feet of air being sucked out of that fan. The energy code says that would be a failing grade in any climate zone. Climate zones are what we measure as they go north. In the southern climate zones toward the south end of Texas, it's five air changes per hour in climate zone two. In climate zone three in the northern part of Texas, it's three air changes per hour. So that 60,000 cubic feet per minute in our fictitious house would be six air changes per hour. That's not good. So the house would fail. It would not get a passing grade. And now imagine if that fan was only sucking out 500 cubic feet per minute times 60 minutes, that's 30,000 cubic feet of air in our 10,000 cubic feet little shoebox. That would be three air changes per hour. That would pass in any climate zone in the United States. So that would be a good test. Of course, we wanna get below the minimums. So what's that doing? So this thing is sucking air out. At the same time, air is coming in through the nooks and crannies. So that's where we're trying to figure out where are all the little tiny holes that are in our house. Um, it's not a lot of air in reality. This thing is putting a lot of pressure on this house, sucking air into places that, you know, sometimes may not even see some wind, but uh, that's what it's doing. It's an interesting test, but again, uh, why is it the house shouldn't breathe naturally? Well, you air condition your air. You pay that bill every month to say, in the summer anyway, to cool this house. It's 100 degrees outside and you've got the air conditioner on, you're paying the bill. Uh, imagine all the heat that's outside infiltrating through the nooks and crannies, the little microscopic holes in your house and your air conditioner running twice as hard, twice as often. Now you've got twice as high an electric bill as you should have. That's not good. So with a tight house, Heat does not infiltrate as easily through the holes that are in the house. So if your house breathes naturally, imagine if you had 10 or 15 air changes per hour in a test situation, your electric bill, your cooling bill in the summer would be much higher than a house that's built very tight. That's the miracle of new houses being built now is how energy efficient they are. And air tightness is probably the number one deal that we wanna get right to make that house as energy efficient as possible. I hope this explains the blower door test, why you need an, a, a tight house and not a breathing house. Hope you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we'll see you next time on Homes Built Right.